Marty, does marketing to women risk alienating men? You mean men consumers, right? No, um, actually, uh, that, uh, that's a misperception. A lot of marketers are worried about that, and I think that's one of the reasons they never explore marketing to women, because they're afraid that it'll turn off what they think of as their base or male customers. And as a matter of fact, they should be delighted to hear it's the opposite of that. A lot of uh, companies uh, have done research on this, as a matter of fact. So I know of IKEA, Merrill Lynch, Ford, Jiffy Lube, I mean, that's kind of a manly sort of brand, right? Uh, and Midas, uh, interestingly, that both of those you know, sort of competitors have gotten into it, um, have done research that has shown that when they've improved their marketing to women, their customer satisfaction amongst men has actually gone up. And I think I know why. The reason is that um, it's one of the principles in my uh, Marketing to Women book, my, one of my gender trends principles, and it's called, said that I say that women have a longer list because women don't want something different from men. They want the same things and more. And so when you're meeting the expectations of women, you're generally exceeding the expectations of men. So that's why when you do a better job marketing to women, you're actually improving your situation amongst men as well.